Welcome back everybody to another episode of Minnie's Mod Marvels. Today we dive into the creepier side of Ark mods and celebrate one of the best holidays, Halloween, with Ark Hollows Eve. A mod developed by Red Dwarf to add a more sinister flair for your servers. Let's brave the depths of this mod and experience a world of fright, shall we? When we first peel back the flesh of this mod's carcass, we discover a plump jack-o'-lantern crafting table which holds an array of treats. Mr. Jack plays a symbolic Halloween theme that the good developers of Wildcard have provided for us this sinister season. Of course, if that's too much for you, you can always disable the tune by selecting Disable Music in his menu and silencing him forever. Is Jackie Boy too big for you, or perhaps too small? Fear not, for he can be resized to fit in a variety of locations, from as small as a tabletop accessory to big enough to swallow a wandering Bronto whole. Now what sort of delectable goodies does old Jackie Boy hold for us? Well, within his gooey intestines, you'll find bone-chilling skeleton costumes for your following creatures. Your Jaboa, Raptor, Stego, Triceratops, Carno, Rex, Quetzalcoatlus, Wyvern, and, of course, the Giga. Feeling left out? Worry not, because I've got something that will tickle your funny bone. Inside, you will find a magical skull with the ability to dissolve the flesh straight off your bones, allowing you to blend right in with your bony friends. You'll also find several other costume delights within Jack, like this werewolf hat, pumpkin head, or creepy clown mask. And there's also this red balloon, which does some torpor damage to your friends, because who doesn't like to beat their friends senseless with a balloon? Next, we'll look at the spooky decor of the mod. First up, we have the graveyard pieces. Inside, you'll find three resizable tombstones, a dirt mound, and a wooden coffin. Now your deceased loved ones will always be nearby. Next, we have the more colorful decor with resizable spiders, arthropleura, skull piles, and pumpkin lamp posts with a variety of brightness and size settings. Next to that, you'll also find three varieties of pumpkin patches and a jack scarecrow to keep more than just birds away. Halloween just wouldn't be complete without its trick-or-treat. Well, in this case, a basket of tricks and treats. This candy pile will have you jumping with the energy from a sugar rush, or rushing straight into the bathroom as your bowels explode from the tainted chocolate fudge. So, consume with caution. Next within the pumpkin table is the Skelenomicon, an item used to keep the graveyard guardians at bay. What are the graveyard guardians, you might ask? Well, you may have noticed eerie patches of fog popping up in random locations around your map. These delightful little treats are another special of this mod, which brings out your inner grave-robbing habits and provides some lootable tombstones into your world. Just be cautious. The spirits of the dead don't always take too kindly to being robbed, and will issue forth graveyard guardians to slice you down for disturbing their eternal rest. Back to the Skelenomicon, without having to utter the words Klatu, Barata, Nikto, you can use the Skelenomicon to put those undead to rest. However, be advised this also hides the graveyards from you, so you'll never know the treasures that could await you. And lastly, one of the newest features of Jack is this neat little skull. It has the ability to create a fog with eerie atmospheric noise, 
Just be warned, these can cause a bit of a frame drop, but there's a reason it's been hard capped. And besides, it looks pretty sweet as hell. Next up, we have the Witch's Cauldron. Just like the Jack Table, this cauldron has music which can be enabled or disabled simply with the use of its menu wheel. When it comes to the contents of the cauldron, you'll find four different customizable candle varieties to provide that extra flair to the atmosphere. These candles are resizable and include floating types as well, if you were hoping for that Harry Potter dining hall vibe. Aside the candles are some resizable and customizable skulls from both humans and demons to complement your skull pile from before, or simply make your base feel a bit more macabre for this holiday season. You'll even find a nice little skull and candle combo ready to top off your table with its piercing gaze should you wish it. Like Jack, you'll also find a few hats here to top off the witchy aesthetic, with a witch's hat for you, a witch hat for your dino, vampire eyes, or a wizard's hat. Still want more of a Harry Potter vibe? Red Dwarf has added a fun item in this cauldron, being the wizard's wand. This wand has two different settings, one of which lights your way through darkness, while the other shoots off an array of harmless fireworks which bounce off walls until exploding into a dazzling display of celebration. My favorite feature of this mod would have to be the included mounts that Red Dwarf has added. You'll find two different types of witch's brooms that you can use to whiz about the map and are smart enough to follow you when whistled. These brooms can have their magical fireflies change color based on your preferences and placed within your pocket for easy transportation. Like the witch's broom, the magical beer keg can whiz about with its customizable glow bugs, but has its own unique feature. Being a beer keg, you can create a refreshing glass of bourbon on the go, but please fly responsibly. And that about covers it for this holiday special mod. I want to thank Red Dwarf for his continued hard work on this mod, and thanks to it, we were able to have a pretty amazing Halloween season over on TRP. I'd also like to thank you for watching my video to its completion. Your support keeps encouraging me to not give up on these mod videos, so thank you. Well, I do hope you're able to enjoy this mod and make a lot of fun memories this holiday season. And I will see you next time.